Today we're going to check out the brand new Bluetooth tracker from Samsung, which they call the Smart Tag. As you probably know, there are a lot of Bluetooth trackers currently on the market. Brands known such as Tile, Chipolo, Cube, Orbit, and many, many others. And let's not forget about the rumored Apple AirTag. So the big question is, where does this Smart Tag currently stack up? And where do I see it standing in the near future? If you happen to be new to Bluetooth trackers, understand that this tracker does not have GPS, nor does it have cellular communication or any other communication besides Bluetooth. Thus, this tracker has to be within Bluetooth range of your phone or another Samsung Galaxy phone to work. These types of Bluetooth trackers are great to put on any of your personal belongings that you tend to misplace or lose most often, including your keys, bags, laptop cases, AirPod cases, luggage, and unfortunately, Samsung even suggests pets. But please, please, I'm asking you, do not put these on outdoor pets, thinking that they're going to help you find them if they happen to get lost. The thing is, is pets tend to stay away from people when they're lost, and thus, a Bluetooth tracker that has limited range is not going to help you find them. Indoor pets, on the other hand, I can kind of understand, like a cat that likes to hide under the bed. Definitely, you can consider one, but understand if these pets get outside, it's not going to help you find them. Believe or not, this is not Samsung's and SmartThings first tracker. SmartThings has a GPS tracker called the Samsung SmartThings tracker, of course. But unlike the SmartTag, the SmartThings tracker has GPS with cellular communication, so it has its own communication that doesn't rely on your cell phone or any else cell phones to be within range. This GPS SmartThings tracker also has zones where you can actually set up automations to your smart home based off of if your tracker enters or exits these zones, which I think is pretty cool, but understand a GPS tracker like this has different uses than the Samsung SmartTag. They say that SmartTag can be tracked via your phone up to 130 meters or about 430 feet if you're using Bluetooth 5, but understand that is under prime conditions without obstructions. But in real life, of course, you're gonna lose your tag in your couch and other places around your house, and that distance is gonna be much, much less, just like any other Bluetooth tracker. It does have this really cool hot and cold meter to tell you how strong the Bluetooth tracker is, so you know if you're getting closer or not, but understand it doesn't tell you which direction you need to go. However, Samsung also announced they're going to release another model of the Smart Tag. This one's going to have what's called Ultra Wideband or UWB, and this is going to allow you to see which direction your Bluetooth tracker is. We'll talk more about this in a moment. Now, since I'm one of the only people in the world that has tested and reviewed almost every Bluetooth tracker and model on the market today, you got to wonder what I honestly think about this tag. Well, Honestly, Samsung did some things right and some major things wrong. Let's talk about the right first. Now, I think they were really smart and one of the only Bluetooth trackers on the market that can actually control your smart home. You have two options. You can set up a single press to control one device, and you also have a press and hold where you can control a second device. Unfortunately, those are the only two controls they have with this. So you have a single press and a press and hold. If you do a double press, that is going to ring your phone when you misplace it. If you don't want to use these controls for your smart home, you can actually use these same controls to send a predetermined notification to yourself or a predetermined text message to yourself or to someone else. It's pretty cool, but I've seen it in other Bluetooth trackers. Now on to what Samsung has done wrong. Currently, it only works with Samsung Galaxy devices, meaning that if you have any other Android phone or iPhone, this smart tag will not work for you. Why is this a huge mistake you might be asking? 
Well, this not only limits who can use it, but also limits who can find your tags when you lose them. For instance, Tile, which is the leading Bluetooth tracker brand currently, has the largest crowdfunding community worldwide. And honestly, it's one of their strongest features. If you happen to lose your belongings, which has your Tile on it, you have the greatest chance of finding your belongings with Tile simply because they have millions and millions of active users. Whereas Samsung is limiting this to only Galaxy users, which will also limit the number of active users looking for your lost items, which I think is a huge mistake by Samsung. And obviously, Apple is not going to make the same mistake with the Apple AirTag. And the Apple AirTag is going to be a major major game changer. Setting up the smart tag was extremely easy. All you need to do is click the tag near Samsung Galaxy phone and it'll prompt you to add it. Then I had to update my smart things with smart things fine to allow my smart tag to ring my phone. You can then ring your smart tag if you happen to lose it by going into the smart things app and ringing your device or vice versa if you happen to lose your phone you can double press the button on your smart things tag to ring your phone even if it's on vibrate when it comes to the battery they have a standard cr2032 battery which samsung says it should last about 230 days which in all honesty i don't think that is that good tiles and many other bluetooth trackers last usually about a year some even last two years but of course that depends on how often you use it if you ring your phone more often or you ring your device it's going to use more battery plus on the other hand this smart tag also works for smart things and you can use it with your smart home so i'm sure that uses more battery life so it kind of gets a pass in my book in the near future, Samsung's also going to release another model of their smart tag. This one's going to have ultra wide band or UWB, and this will actually allow you to locate your smart tag via AR or augmented reality, which I've actually used before in another tracker brand, which had AR and ultra wide band. I gotta admit, it's pretty awesome. Obviously, this model is going to cost you a few more dollars, but having that ultra wide band is going to open up so many other doors and possibilities, both with locating your tracker and all the smart home aspects of ultra wide band, which I'm super excited to see what they do with. 